Dave with ETN News here. Uh, take a look at this next clip and tell me if you notice anything that's a little bit strange about this. Relief agencies are doing all they can to fill the stomachs of flood victims, but an angel of mercy has made it her personal mission to fill their spirit. Here's Jerica Duncan. Now he just said relief agencies are doing all they can to fill the stomachs of the flood victims gives me the impression that there are a lot of people and they don't have enough food. We wanna see your kingdom. It was an impromptu moment captured on camera. Victoria White, a 30-year-old university admissions counselor, singing a song of hope at the Lone Star Convention Center shelter. She was doing it for the people here in Conroe, Texas, who were forced to flee their flooded homes. Less than two days later, more than 16 million people have seen it. You bet, don't you? And today, White was back at it again. <laughs> Where are all the people? <laughs> this time at another shelter in her hometown of Livingston. All right. <laughs> I was, was Delivering a robot. Another shelter. Where are all the people? Bus version of Amazing Grace as 67 year old Patsy Morgan sang along. Hey, man. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Patsy. After watching the coverage of Hurricane Harvey, White says she knew she had to do something. We began to just kind of think about what could we do to inspire people. Once again, another shot of the shelter, and doesn't look like there are thousands of people there. I just am not sure where. All these people that they've rescued are. And to let them know it looks hopeless, but I promise it's not. And so with that, we said, man, we can use our voices. And I lift my voice. Once again, where are all the people? Looks like all the blankets are bagged up on the cots back here. Um, no people. Tables, not what you would expect to see a large group of people in an area and the tables and chairs are all set up really nice the cots are all bagged or the uh, blankets are all bagged in the cots just saying you are such a light <laughs> i mean these people are warming up to you instantly smiling where do you get that from i was raised to be a good person you help your neighbors you help the stranger who needs help because one day you're going to be at the end other end of that stick and you're going to need somebody's help Gail Fisher, who, like so many in Houston, is distraught, has found one more reason to be grateful. It was a blessing because it kind of gives you an uplift, you know. She's got such a beautiful voice to boot. <laughs> Let it be a sweet. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Livingston, Texas. Once again, where are all the people? In your Okay, five people, two children, and three National Guardsmen. Where are all the flood victims? Nothing beats a good old gospel tune. The other day, someone sent me this link. Um, I'm not trying to infer that this is what's going on. I just want to want you folks to leave it. I'm going to leave it up to you to make a decision of what we're talking about. And uh, just take a look at this next clip. I'll leave a link down below for the full clip. And you can make up your mind by watching this. If you found yourself some shelter here, why, why are you outside during this entire hurricane? Well, I chose not to go inside yesterday because the Salvation Army and uh, Russian Winds Homeless Shelter, where they were accepting people, were caught killing everybody that was in there. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. All right. 